Welcome back, everybody. 613 on uh, the night before Thanksgiving and uh, cloudy day has come about. Had a little bit of that filtered sun this morning. Temperatures were on the rise, made it into the lower 50s in a lot of locations today with these southerly breezes that actually felt pretty nice. You know, typically when you get uh, winds this time of year, it uh, makes it feel a lot cooler. Wind chills, not so much today. Uh, it helped uh, boost us into the lower 50s, but it won't be something that's sticking along around very long, dropping back into the 40s here this evening. Now, the coldest of the air uh, in this seven day is not going to be arriving over the next several hours, so people headed out on this uh, busy night uh, before Thanksgiving. Really just to be greeted by a few sprinkles, a couple light showers later on. I would suspect more towards uh, 10, 11 o'clock in Grand Rapids. A little bit earlier than that, extreme southwestern sections like Benton Harbor. Yeah, because the moisture is coming in from the southwest on a uh, south southwest wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it does stay a little bit breezy, but not as much so as uh, what we had earlier on today. These light rain showers will carry overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, hundredths of an inch of rain, hundredths, not much. Yes, it'll kick out of here, say by about 6 a.m. And then we're left with just a lot of clouds and then some lake effect contribution starts to kick up. That'll actually be initially in the form of sprinkles, a couple light rain showers there uh, towards midday and beyond then transitioning to evening flurries or a snow shower. Still not much more than a dusting or local coating. Uh, around the region, so not a whole lot of trouble to come from this snow, though, as the temperatures drop off tomorrow evening with damp pavement out there, there could be some slick spots, so be aware of that on Thanksgiving night. Clipper snow showers potentially there on Sunday morning. There is an outside shot. We could pick up a coating of snow Sunday morning that would melt by the afternoon. Temperatures uh, not really, you know, I'm just staring you down here as melt territory, but uh, 35, if indeed we get there, would be warm enough to melt a little dusting or coating uh, that potentially Potentially could come down Sunday morning back into the upper 30s Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. It's a cool pattern overall the next seven days, but the general theme as we go forward beyond seven days still continues to show a little bit of a milder trend. The real warmth and anomalies uh, above normal are going to be down to the southwest, but some of that bleeding off the top and uh, to the east with time through week two, perhaps week three with a pattern like that. Yeah, it's not necessarily real warm around here, but I don't see any big Arctic outbreaks coming down into that first week, perhaps two of December. Now we're going back out to Ann Arbor. Here's the forecast. Uh, Ohio State at U of M and uh, running in the low 30s by midday. That's when the kickoff is at 12 o'clock. We'll top out around 35, partly sunny. I think filtered sunshine will be seen and winds are to be light. So that's some good news. You can get some real windy days in November with, uh, you know, just the uh, the pattern can uh, produce that, but not the case. It looks like for the first half of our weekend. That's good news for the football game. A lot of clouds right now. A couple sprinkles maybe showing up there in uh, southwestern sections of the viewing area. I think that's Virga, though, or not reaching the ground. Moisture that would be on the radar, but not making it to the ground. Eventually will, though, as that L on the map, that low pressure starts to generate a little bit more precipitation as the night wears on. Pretty mild air here stretching back into Wisconsin and Illinois, so it's not like the colder air is, you know, on the doorstep about to come in. If you're headed out and about tonight. You're not worried about cold air. That's for sure. We've still got this territory uh, even out to the west where the winds are out of the southwest, but then they turn to the northwest uh, right there along the border of Minnesota and Wisconsin, and that's where the cold front is. It'll be slowly trudging its way in our direction overnight tonight and reaching us about 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is off the model at 10 o'clock and uh, shifting our winds around that time to the north and eventually northwest, and that's when uh, the numbers will start to fall off. Now, it's not a wall of Arctic air, but uh, from the mid to upper 40s uh, overnight and into tomorrow morning will fall back into the 30s thereafter. Let's put the model and run it out. Here we go. I talked about a little bit better uh, development of moisture between now and say midnight and there you can see it particularly I-96 and southward with these light rain showers that will be out there. Then they move off to the east, the synoptic or system rain showers, and then some lake effect contribution coming in during the afternoon. Spotty rain showers will transition to flurries and spotty snow showers during the evening. So again, a dusting, a coating of snow, certainly a possibility, just enough to cause a slick spot or two, but not enough to uh, make the snow lovers happy around here just yet. And those clouds, they'll continue. It looks like for the most part into Friday, maybe a flurry in the morning. A little bit of sun on Saturday. Again, Ohio State at Michigan. If you're going to that game, looking good, just chilly. And it stays pretty quiet into early next week. All right.